try and fail, I tried and fail, no. How I tried and how I failed. Well, there are not too many opportunities that I have to start a vlog by Andre the Gianting something, but I'm gonna do the Andre the Giant over the top rope entrance to today's vlog. Well, hello, my friends, your old pal Jordan the Lion. Well, if you're a fan of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, you'll probably like what we're gonna see today. I actually never saw the show, but I came out here because in 1923, Paramount bought this ranch, now it's the National Park Service, and Bob Hope used to come out here and ride horses and film movies. And today, we have a special guest out in the woo. Hey. Are you Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman? No. Well. I'm a medicine man. <laughs> this should be fun anyway. As you know. Days with Jordan the Lion and this guy begins when? Right. Um, I think it might start now. Starts now. Starts now. Now there was nothing actually filmed out here that's a huge movie in my life, but there are a few connections to different vlogs that I've done that I thought made it worth it. Plus, it's a national park open to everyone. It's free to get in. Why not come check it out? There's their fire station back here, little bus stop, and they have a permanent western town on the premises that we're gonna check out. Firearms prohibited. Now even beyond the western town, they have multiple trails out here and miles that you can hike. But I wanna come over here first because they have a little rundown of the property and some 3D glasses? Well, let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's for this. And with these glasses, you can tell that there is a ferocious, roaring lion in there. A Jordan the Lion. Now the western town's gonna look a little different than what you might recognize in the movies. I'll tell you why. They have multiple things that come out here and film, from The Mentalist to, like I said, Dr. Quinn throughout the 90s was filmed out here. And even the new Westworld is filmed out here. In order to make it not so recognizable every time you watch a different movie, they have to alter the sets every time. So what we're gonna see is a little bit of uh, Paramount movie western town history. And that totally looks like a church you would have seen in Dr. Quinn, doesn't it? Now one of the original uses for this movie ranch even before the whole filming started was that they would have this for actors to come out and learn how to ride horses. They said that Gary Cooper and Claudette Colbert, Bob Hope, various you know big Paramount stars, even probably Mae West would have come out here and practiced riding for a picture that they're working on. Very cool. Okay, so this is what we can see. They have a train depot, the stable, general store, the jail, the barber shop, bank, saloon. Huh. Well, it almost makes you wonder if, uh, if any of the Brady Bunch was filmed out here. I know they had an episode where they were in a western town. Here you can see they have a little snapshot of Dr. Quinn. And then there's Carnival, X-Files, and Family Tree. So let's walk back here to the stables. Kind of see a broken old wagon back here.
Now we're coming upon the uh, the back of the stables and also the train depot. And it's really weird to be out here walking through this western town and it's already happened on three or four occasions since I've been out here. I'll be out here filming something, looking around, getting into the getting into the moment and then like a modern day jogger will come running through here in like neon spandex jogging clothes. <laughs> ah, Dr. Quinn would be proud. Here's a bit of a look inside the train depot. Now let's head our way into the town. A dairy barn it looks like. Look, we're walking through Westworld. I'll be honest, I gave it a try. I really did try and watch Westworld. I love the movie. I just thought it was a little too disturbing. I was a little bit too disturbed when I tried to watch the new series. Oh, there's the sheriffs. So I'm guessing the jail's also in there, right? Definitely. There, you can see a little bit better view of the jail. Oh, but how about this? If we walk around to the back, you can actually peek into the jail cell from that way. You guys are now in jail. Let's hope I don't get a shaky hand and drop the camera. We're all in trouble. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go see what's over here. Looks like a motel of some sort. Oh, that's neat. I love that kind of stuff. That's that old saloon look. I kind of feel like I'm at Knott's Berry Farm right now. Oh, and it looks like they, uh, they don't have too many of the doors or anything open out here. You can't really get in. I'm assuming they know they'll get a lot of damage, but Hotel Mudbug. Now let's give it that old college try anyway, what do you say? Oh, almost, almost. They all look like they're open, but they're not. There's the general store. Pretty cool. It's always fun to go wandering through a good old ghost town, old western town. Oh, there's a gazebo over there. Oh, it looks like we can go in here a little bit. Not inside the trapper, but... Uh... Oh, not much here. Private residence. So somebody, this must be the caretaker for the property in case they have any issues with uh, somebody trying to break in. That's probably a smart idea, having somebody on the premises. Oh, it looks like a uh, picnic area. I'm sure that this is uh, utilized for the movies, but I'm also sure it's probably used by the 
by the crews and everything for their their meals. But you can see it's got a stage and everything on it. Right up here at the front, let's go take a look. Dual purpose. Now I wanna show you something, okay. From here, and you can kinda of get a better view from here, if you noticed, that window is open in the top floor of the back of that building. I guarantee the reason that's open is for filming. The old, uh, if you remember when I told you that Peter Falk liked having Steven Spielberg as the director of Columbo because he liked to do, put the camera in weird spots, sometimes across the street, this is kind of what that's all about. Probably had a deep focus lens coming from right up there in that window shooting over into here. I could be wrong, but I bet I'm not. It makes total sense to me. See, there's that window. And they literally even have the window open, so you can see that's probably what that was used for. Let's go back into town and see if we can find Adam or if he got put in jail yet. Bummer, we can't even go up the stairs. I was kind of hoping to go up there and look around, get a view through the window. Guess that explains it. This window looks pretty clear. We can probably see a little bit into there. See, there's not much in there. Now let's wander over towards the church. Online, the, uh, the main Bob Hope movie that I could find that was filmed out here was called Caught in the Draft. Yeah, let's head over to the church. Looks like Adam's over there. I can almost guarantee that that church would have been used in Dr. Quinn. And at some time, I'm sure there's water that comes through here when we're not experiencing a drought. Now you can see where we just left that town. People are starting to show up and wander around it, so. It's kind of cool that it's a national park and so many people can come out here and enjoy it. Let's go take a look inside the church, or at least through the window. Now one of the interesting connections to one of my older vlogs was that if you remember when I went out to Pioneer Town, I was showing us that ghost town, that old western town out there, and I mentioned that the Cisco Kid was filmed out there. Well, when they quit filming out there, it was because they actually moved here. This ranch was opened up at this western town, and so in the 50s they started filming the Cisco Kid on this ranch instead. This is pretty cool, just knowing that the Paramount Ranch at pretty much any given time as long as they're not using it for filming and it's not closed down for that Anybody can come out here and wander around and experience it. So like I said if you were an X-Files fan or I Think even weeds was filmed out here If you're fans of any of the shows filmed out here you can come out anytime and take your picture with some of the props and some of the sets from your favorite shows. I love that. It's too bad more of the uh, movie ranches out here don't do that. FYI, most of them do not. <laughs> it's just because the, uh, I think it was the 80s when um, Los Angeles bought a portion of this movie ranch from Paramount and turned it into part of the parks. Till then, wasn't, uh, wasn't available for everyone to see but they made a conscious effort in the 90s to get the word out and let people know that they could come out here. Pretty cool. So this right here 
was the building that we saw from the picture of Dr. Quinn. So you can see from here and that picture how much it's been changed. Now I want to go back and I want to match up the photo that we saw of the X-Files back at the train depot and I'm going to show you what that looks like now compared to in that photo. Uh oh. Looks like they were killing vampires out here, don't you think? Now if you remember that photo that I showed you guys a little bit ago from X-Files, if you want to have your memory refreshed, I'll put it right here. That would have been right out here. Well, that's freaking ironic. What was our vlog yesterday, everybody? Do you remember? It was me making tie-dye shirts. And then I find this. Oh, look at this. Looks like we've had some cowboys out here building a campfire. Okay, maybe I'm crazy, but I've walked past this rock a couple times and it keeps looking like an elf shoe to me. Do you guys see that? Doesn't that look like a Iron Sheik shoe? And it looks like some horse left its footprint out here. I don't know how, but there are like slats of wood back here in this creek bed. Look at that. Sometimes you never know what you'll find out here, including a Battleship Iowa ticket. I just noticed this piece I have to show you guys, you'll love this. I assume this was to clean off your boot, probably. I think you would put that and go maybe. Now this is another one of those windows I was telling you about, like in the back. I guarantee the reason that's up there like that is so they can put the camera through there and get that shot of the whole western town from above, you see? That's how you get those wide angle shots. Sometimes they put them on a crane, but a lot of times they would just have a camera perched right up inside that window. And this one just looks like an old saloon. I mean, it just screams old saloon, doesn't it? And I guess this one is supposed to be the barber shop, even though there's no painted barber pole there. Like I said, you can, the reason these are so kind of indistinct in some ways is that they want it to uh, be able to be redecorated and repurposed for future productions. And there you go. Even in the Old West, they had a unisex bathroom. This is kind of cool if you look inside here you can actually see that there's pretty usable space in there so they could do scenes where the camera could be over on the right side and you could actually see things out the window and it would be you know over here it would actually look real it's kind of cool and then if we come around here and look inside here this one actually has a almost like a, a front counter. Well, I think that's going to do it for us here today. Hope you guys enjoy getting to see the Paramount Ranch. And if you're out here visiting Los Angeles, it's free. Come out and visit it. It's awesome. You can walk through an old western town for free. Take pictures, have fun. Why not? I want to thank Robert Lindsay and Patty Sullivan for be making contributions to my channel. And everyone else, thank you for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye. We all need to come together. Happy
now, happy now, thanks for the failure.